Commander, the Decepticons are finally starting to quiet down. Yes, Jazz, but I don't imagine this tranquility will last for long. Make no mistake, those Decepticons are plotting their next evil scheme even as we speak. We must not relax our vigilance. Yes, sir. Commander, we've got more information from the Autobots we met up with. Information? Ah, about the UFO? What is it? Did you find out anything important? Unfortunately, nothing about the UFO except that there were actually two of them. But apparently their systems went haywire because of the electromagnetic waves too. Seems they got all split up after the crash landing and then the Decepticons found them. They took shelter and tried to defend themselves as best they could, hoping for a chance to join up with us. I see. That's not good. I'm sorry, Commander. If only I had studied this planet's star more carefully, this situation would have never happened. I was foolish as well for neglecting my responsibility to ensure the safety of the situation. What's that? We're receiving an SOS signal. Somebody is calling for help. Find the location of that signal, Jazz. Let's go right away. C Commander, wait a second. This might be another Decepticon trap. At least give me some time to investigate. I'm aware of that possibility, but I won't order an investigation. Commander! Because of my earlier carelessness, our friends were put in danger. If this isn't a trap, then I will have failed our companions again. We haven't a moment to lose. I can't sit back and watch someone die just to protect myself. Whoever sent that signal must be helped, even if I have to go alone. Commander? Commander! Right then, but we're thinking the same as you. Let us go with you! Jazz. Very well. I'll consider it. Anyway, let's prepare for departure. The signal came from near the shuttle. The shuttle's sensors are confirming the presence of Autobots and Decepticons. Our friends are definitely here. Our mission is to drive away the Decepticons and rescue our friends. All right, Autobots, let's roll out. The battle begins. I believe the SOS signal was sent from around this area, but there's no one here. Rodimus Prime. You thought you could disappear and get the Autobots of this era to help you. You pathetic fool! I'm Galvatron. Perhaps I should say, nice to meet you. But I already know you very, very well. Galvatron? What? Are you some new kind of Decepticon? Have I met you before? That voice... Yes! You are Optimus Prime! Excellent, then. Rodimus Prime was always a worthless opponent anyway. Now, you'll feel the power of the future Decepticons! Decepticons, attack! It's a showdown. <sighs> How dare you damage me! You shall die! Transform! I'm 
pulling back for now. I shall remember this, Autobots. Decepticons, retreat! What the? Who are you? I am not a stranger. I, I'm your ally. Let me explain about me and that Decepticon from before. The Autobots found their allies who had set the SOS signal and returned with them to the shuttle. There they heard an amazing story. So, you mean you guys are from the future? Yes, that's right. That UFO you were chasing was probably our shuttle. Which means that the explosion was really the shockwave from the time slip. I don't believe it. Now, now, youngin. The unbelievable ain't the impossible, you know. Once you live for a while, you'll get to see all kinds of crazy stuff you don't understand. The one you saw before was Galvatron. He followed us back here to this era. He is the future leader of the Decepticons. Optimus, sir, I know it's a wild story and hard to believe. But we came here to avoid a terrible catastrophe. Please, please try to believe us. Aren't you the hot rod that we used to know? As Rodimus Prime, you've taken over from Optimus and are leading the Autobots. I don't think I believe all this crazy talk about coming from the future. But if it is true, then... What happened to Optimus Prime? What are you doing leading the Autobots? Come on, explain that. Well, that... What should I do? Is it really okay to reveal their fate? There, you see? He can't explain. We can't trust these guys. Jazz, sir, you're wrong. Yes, you're wrong, Jazz. He can't decide how much to tell us. It's not good for us to learn any more about our future than we absolutely need to know. Commander! So you believe our story? A long time ago, Spike traveled through time when he entered old ruins. And before that, there was a time machine on Cybertron as well. It saved my life. So clearly, time travel is by no means unthinkable. Besides... What? The Matrix inside of me senses it. Inside this Transformer before us is the very same Matrix that is inside me. What? Can that really be true? Ah. Uh, this is getting really interesting. Possession of the Matrix proves that one is the true Autobot leader. It's the crystal containing the wisdom of generations of Autobot leaders. If the Matrix is in Rodimus... This entire story could be true after all. <laughs> Just like Wheeljack. Catches on so much faster than this one here. Oh, what? That's enough. Anyway, we're all tired after today's adventures. We'll listen to more of the story tomorrow. For now, let's rest. Jazz, please forgive Cup for being so rude. We'll explain everything tomorrow, after we've had a chance to rest. Uh, okay. So now there are two primes. Ho oh, ho, strange things do happen.